Smash Engineering. Okay, I'm gonna say this and please listen to me. Go with your gut. I um, <clears throat> took it out on the lake, <clears throat> it was running great, and then all of a sudden it stopped. It stopped running for everything. Um, I took the, uh, I had some tools with me, so I took the float or the carburetor bowl off. There was no fuel. So I thought, oh, my diaphragm's bad. So I put a new diaphragm in there. The old one was stiff, but not bad. I, I don't, I don't think it was bad. Um, so I took the fuel line off and there was like sediment in there, like, like garbage. So then I thought, well, let's take the rest of this off and that if i may reference uh a movie over here it ain't got no gas in it that is the reason <clears throat> and of course if this fitting was full of junk <clears throat> there's a good chance that the rest of it uh, will be full of junk as well Yep, it's clogged completely shut. See that? Oh, it's nasty. Nasty. Let's clean that out, see if it fixes it. Okay, here you can see I took off the sediment bowl and there's a little bit of sediment on the right-hand side of the bowl. These are made to be taken off and cleaned out so you can actively keep uh, sediment out of the carburetor. Another good little trick is if you can find a plastic 55 gallon drum um, and cut the top off of it like I did here. I use a circular saw, use whatever you think uh, is safe. It was kind of sketchy, but it worked for me. Um, it's a really good way to test these engines that you can't put like the muffs on. Um, here is the picture of the uh, barrel underneath the engine and I'm able to fill that up and uh, know that it's getting enough water into that engine and it's not gonna overheat. Also, I have a video on how to install a drain on these barrels. Um, I'll put that video at the end, you can click on that, but it's a nice way to be able to fill these barrels and empty them really easy. All right, so if you're not getting fuel to your fuel bowl, check all your fittings. If your sediment bowl doesn't lie to you. Make sure you got water coming through here. Make sure you don't accidentally touch this. Unless you want to lose a finger or arm or limb. It's alive. That's gonna pretty much sum up this video. I appreciate you watching. I know this was a short one, but uh, it was something that had me stumped. We even, you know, obviously broke down out on the lake and I just wanna make sure that if you have this type of setup, it doesn't even have to be this engine per se, but if it has fuel lines and it sits, these fuel lines can deteriorate. In my case, it was like leaf material, I think that was in there. But anyway, this will give you some insight on what to do and uh, get you out on the water next season and be just ripping out on the water and having fun. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.